How you doing today, my friends? We are about to start another big project. Um, I've wanted to get uh, surveillance of my property. I do have a lot of sheds, outbuildings, uh, a trailer, and I want to be able and a pool. So I want to be able to monitor those. And uh, you know, and there's been quite a few thefts of, around our place. Uh, people breaking into cars and stuff. Probably kids, but uh, nonetheless. Um, I thought uh, this month with uh, my YouTube money that uh, I would invest in a security system, so or a security camera system, I should say. So um, what we have here is the I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right, but uh, Josh or Zoshi maybe. Um, like all my other videos, uh, down in the description uh, will be a link to the Amazon where I got this. Uh, I also got a one terabyte uh, WD uh, hard drive for this. Um, and it is specifically for um, surveillance, for 24 hour recording. Um, I'm probably going to have it on motion detection um, and then it will just record when motion goes through. So uh, they are the purple ones, but uh, I'll show it to you once we get to that point. Um, first thing uh, is we'll uh, get this unboxed and, uh, and we'll kind of go through each thing, what the cameras are and all of that. So like I said, down in the description there'll be both of these. Uh, I'll put the cable ties that I bought, uh, the clips for all the cables and uh, the Ethernet cable that I ran already. Uh, I already do have dual monitors set up for it. Uh, I've asked a few people online, not sure if it's going to work with this DVR, uh, if it will support dual monitors, um, because this is an 8 channel uh, system with 8 cameras. Uh, I'd like to put 4 cameras on each screen, if that's possible. So, if it's not, then I'll get rid of one of the screens and it'll just be a single screen. So, anyways, let's, uh, let's get to opening this up. Get the old trusty uh, pocket knife out. Too, so I can kind of get both uh, cameras going here at the same time and uh, this one I can use for closer up and the other one for farther away so I'll be right back okay so we're going to uh, get all this opened up now let's we'll kind of set this aside actually we can open up this hard drive first I can just show you what it is um, oh they nicely package it that's nice and uh, it's a WD purple so I'm not going to take it completely out of the package uh, until I go to install it because you don't want to shake it around a lot or anything like that. So there's that. And uh, some better lighting on here. And here is everything we need. So this should be this is the uh, digital video recorder. Security camera kit. And the security camera kit. So there's two. And uh, it does say it's supposed to come with a controller and mounting hardware and everything. So uh, get this box out of the way here. We'll uh, move these for a second here. And uh, we'll open up uh, this one here. All right, so there's the DVR. Pull that out. I'm going to take this plastic off. with a DVR user data and a quick start guide. So that's what it looks like on the front. Got uh, power record, HDD, LAN, 
which would be your Ethernet. Um, it's got record, play, pause, PTZ, don't know what that is, menu, escape, and on the back you have your eight channels and uh, audio out, uh, video out, and then you have audio in, um, your LAN uh, hookups, power, um, USB, and your VGA hookup. So, now that we have that out of the box, I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way as I go. Now, inside the box, this little box here. Here we go, that's what I wanted to see right there. Uh, comes with the controller. So, and the power adapter for the uh, for the DVR and a little mouse. So, and then it comes with uh, this little clip here too. Not 100% sure what that's for yet. We'll, uh, we'll put that in there. So we'll put all that back in there until I go to actually plug this in. Okay. So that's everything you get in this box. And it's the H.264 um, It was uh, around $200. Um, I am in Canada, but my links will always be to Amazon.com. Um, because that's where most of my viewerships are. So, uh, so yeah, if you check on that down in the bottom, I'll put a link right to this exact one that I bought and the hard drive and such and such. All right, so now these two boxes will be the same. So in here, it says it's got four cameras. Um, these are supposed to be 900 TV line cameras. Uh, the, the package says, uh, it doesn't say here on um, what they've just got a like a vin, uh, identification number uh, saying that it's a digital security camera. Uh, it comes with four 60 foot BNC extension cables. Um, comes with one DC 12 volt, 100 to 240 volt uh, power adapter. Uh, one to one to four way power splitter. One year warranty registration card user manual and four mounting bags uh, for the whole setup. So now that I got this open, hi buddy, we, uh, we've got four sets of cable. Uh, these are all supposed to be 60 feet, right? Yeah, so 60 feet. So in each one will have your video connection and your uh, power connection here. So we have four of those. Uh, so this is what they give you for mounting hardware. Uh, yeah, that's uh, won't be using those. Um, here's your. Uh, they come with warning cards, so you stick those on your windows, and uh, it just lets people know that you're being recorded. So those will go up for sure. Um, there you go. There's four cables. There's your uh, splitter adapt adapter for uh, for the cameras and uh, that will plug it into this somewhere on well, this adapter it should be because yes so just like this these plug into here and then you have your four-way splitter for your cameras that will do one whole set of cameras all right so we'll get that set aside that set aside and uh, let's get to looking at one of these cameras. Pull this one in right here. All right. So these are the bullet cameras. Um, they're supposed to be 720p. Um, they're made out of uh, aluminum, cast aluminum, I think. Um, and they are, I can't remember what, I, R, R64, R6, or I66 uh, outside rating. So, um, I'll give you all the specs on it once I uh, look at the uh, the actual ad. So it it has everything explained in here. Well, say in here too what these uh, what everything is capable of. And uh, so, anyways, um, these now just all need to be mounted, and uh, and away we go. So um, the first part, I'm probably just going to set up uh, a couple of cameras. 
And then, um, actually what we're going to do now, just let me pause and uh, get a screwdriver and we'll install this hard drive first into here. That's the first step. screws so they're right on the back here so there's two screws on the back and one on either side so pull those four off see the inside. Alright, so we'll pull this off now. I don't want to drop anything. Should just push back maybe. Oh, I missed a screw. That would be why. So there's one in the middle. So there's three on the back. I'm just trying to give you guys a perspective from somebody else on these systems. I could not find, all I could find were just robot sounding videos about these uh, security systems. So I thought I would uh, do a proper video showing how you get them set up, the kind of quality you're going to get from them, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But uh, alright, so we'll get this uh, hard drive out of here. You don't want to shake a hard drive or um, you know drop it or anything like that. You want to be pretty uh, ginger with it because it's got a little writing disc in there and you don't want to scratch it. Alright, so now we'll get this in here and plugged in. The nice thing about buying your own hard drive is that uh, you are not going to have to worry about getting some offshore, you know, piece of crap that uh, isn't going to do what it says it's going to do. So this one was, uh, I can't remember exactly, it cost me about $300 for the whole system. So now we can put this back on and uh, if I can get this back on, oh, I guess you got to, well I got it on the right hand, I think. Oh, I'm trying to put it on backwards here, that's why. Something's not right. get these screws put back in and uh, we'll get this hooked up to the computer. Uh, the whole system is in my, uh, my bedroom so uh, we'll have to get set back up in there and I'll show you it hooked up to the screen and uh, we'll get a camera hooked up to it and we'll go from there. Alright, we'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm at my setup in my bedroom. Um, I've, it will run dual monitors. Not sure if yet if it will run uh, four on each screen. So we're going to find out. I uh, got my DVR hooked up here. Um, I got my Ethernet plugged in. Um, I've got one camera hooked up. See if I can move this out here for you. And then I've got my power and, uh, and that's it. So, and then this little mouse. So now, when you first start it or plug it in, this is the screen that comes up. So you're going to want to go through, set up your language, uh, date format, uh, all of that stuff, and then uh, we'll continue on to the next part. 
Okay, so once you got that set up, click next. Uh, here's your ports, um, IP address automatically, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to go next. And... Oh, these are uh, all the resolutions. Um, 90, 906H um, is the resolution. Uh, 960 uh, horizontal lines, uh, frames per second. You can set it from 30 or up to 30. And then uh, the encoder, and then the max, the quality. You want it highest. Um, I kind of want all of these at their highest. The highest, the better uh, when it comes to security footage. Uh, that's why you buy a good quality uh, hard drive too, and it will uh, save you a lot of problems down the road. Okay, so we got all those set up. Well, next, uh, unformatted. Uh, I got to format the uh, hard drive now. Oh, you have to select it. Okay. All right. So once this is formatted, uh, we'll be back. Okay. So that's done. That only took maybe 15 seconds. Um, found when system checking functions listed below are not active. Cannot enable recording. Cannot playback. Cannot write log. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll uh, see what we got here. Okay, so right now, uh, now you can see that recording me. Um, both cameras are a little bit different, so the screens are a little bit different, but uh, pretty good detail. It uh, it has um, has nice clarity. Uh, it's not not going to be full HD. Well, it is. It's 720, but it's not uh, 1080. So once uh, once I get these set up around the house, um, we'll come back and uh, we'll see all the cameras set up, and then you can kind of see outside and uh, all of that. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's going to work out pretty good, I think. Um, and then I will uh, mess around here and see if I can get this to run on two separate screens, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, my friends, it's the next day, and uh, I spent the day getting all the cameras in place and all wired in. Um, I didn't show all of that, uh, partially because I ran my wires on the outside of my house instead of through my attic, because three weeks ago I blew in two and a half feet of insulation up there. I know, stupid, I should have done that first before, or wired this all before blowing in the insulation, but there was no way I'm going to dig through insulation. But I have a 30-foot tall house, so nobody is looking up at the very top edge to see a wire. So, um, nonetheless, uh, here is all the screen set up. I've got seven cameras set up. Um, I do have eight, but uh, I'm not going to set up the eighth one. That one's just going to be a backup one. So, I have one for my front door. Uh, one looking over my driveway and my vehicles, one over my trailer in my backyard, one over my sheds, uh, one over the front here. Uh, this is uh, the front road, and uh, so if there's ever going to be an accident, that's going to be the corner. It's always a very bad corner here. Uh, up to the left here is a very, very steep, steep hill. So a lot of people can't stop at the bottom here, and uh, I'd like to catch... You know, somebody's ro uh, drove into the front of this pole already and took the sign off. So, um, I wish I had it up then. I would have been able to get that on camera. But, nonetheless, and then I have uh, one over my pool here. And then one of my uh, living room downstairs. So, um, <clears throat> I pretty much have everything that I care to have covered. Um, I have yet to uh, get, figure out the uh, Wi-Fi or the uh, network on it. I think that's why I have that little thing in the bottom corner. Um, also, I couldn't run, uh, you can run dual screens, um, but they will be the same Im image on both screens, and that just kind of, you can't extend your desktop, which uh, I was hoping you could, but maybe you can with a, 
a more expensive system um, but uh, this one uh, does not do that so I uh, got rid of the other screen well I didn't get rid of it but uh, set it aside so if I have a problem with my uh, my my editing station that I edit all my videos in I have two screens on that and then I have another one here so I've always got a backup now and uh, same idea with the camera if I lose one of these cameras or something goes wrong it's just a matter of climbing up there switching out a camera and away I go um, the clarity uh, is really good guys um, I'm actually quite impressed it's uh, it's not you know I wouldn't say it's not full HD but uh, and I'm not going to be able to zoom in like on say a li license plate or something like that but I uh, sure as heck will be able to see the vehicle or anybody else that's in my backyard and uh, last night with it uh, hooked up to night vision um, it did significantly well I was impressed I was able to see most of my yard uh, I had three cameras hooked up yesterday so uh, now the only problem I do have I will show you on this one this is pointing at my back door and it is constantly recording because it uh, it's always I think it's got a reflection out of the window you can see how the window is really bright here um, now once somebody walks in front of that that glare goes away because it has a dark backdrop and everything is white outside so it's just glaring like crazy but uh, that is where I want that camera um, because I can see people coming in and out of the house or somebody came in when they weren't supposed to uh, I'm gonna get their face right away so um, but yeah there uh, there is the Zashi uh, DVR uh, video recorder down here um, I got a one terabyte like you seen in the beginning of the video and if you have any other questions about the setup or anything like that uh, don't be afraid to uh, to leave a comment down in the comment section and uh, like I said before don't forget to check out uh, all the stuff in the description for uh, pricing on everything it will take you directly to the links on Amazon and uh, every little bit helps me guys and that uh, it's greatly appreciated so uh, yeah everybody uh, have a great day and uh, please remember to subscribe and as always if you click that thumbs up button it would be greatly appreciated have a great day